be so long to those who wait for you. Listen to the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, today I celebrate the 24th anniversary of my ordination to the priesthood. And as I always do on this day, I offer a Mass for peace and justice. One of the reasons I became a priest was to serve people. And the greatest need I see in our world today is a need for peace, for justice, and acceptance for everyone. And I believe that it is my duty as a priest and all of our duties as Christians to work to bring about peace and justice in our world. So today as we celebrate this Mass, I ask you to join with me confessing those times that we have not been servants and instruments of peace in our world. We have not striven to see that there is justice for all people. We now pause and consider these our sins, ask God's forgiveness, his mercy, his love, and his strength to work for peace and justice in his world. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You're seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, you guide all creation with your fatherly care, as you have given us one common origin. Bring together peacefully into one family and keep us united in brotherly and sisterly love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God, to comfort all who mourn, place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle in place of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. 
Dear indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. A reading from the letter of James. Beloved, who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show his works by a good life. In the humility that comes from wisdom, you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts. Do not boast and be false to the truth. Wisdom of this kind does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. But where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, and peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. The truth of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up. He went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Jesus unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind. Let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture is being fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear brothers and sisters, I thank you for coming together with me as I celebrate this 24th anniversary of my ordination to the priesthood. I'd like to begin by thanking all those who have And supportive. First, I would like to thank Archbishop Floyd Kortenhoff for ordaining me and supporting me in my early years of ministry. I want to thank my parents for all of the love, support, and tears they 
gave me over the years, for all of my family and my friends, for all those who have been supportive of me in my ministry. And I also wish to thank all those that I have been privileged to minister to over the years. As I mentioned earlier, I think the the calling for all clergy and for all Christians is that, in the words of the prayer attributed to St. Francis, to be instruments of peace in an unpeaceful world, to attempt in our own small circle to be ministers of peace, witnesses to justice, and most of all, to be instruments and witnesses of the love of God in a broken world. We may not all be able to do big things. But we're all able to do small things to make our world a better place. Again, in words attributed to Francis of Assisi, let us begin to do good. For up to now, we have done little. Brothers and sisters, those little bits of good that we do in the world add up. Little grains of sand become great sand dunes. And in time, if enough of us do little things, the little things will become big. They can change minds and hearts. But we have to continue to do good, to keep adding to that little that we always try. We also build on the works of those who've gone before us. This is the time of the year when in the Western Catholic tradition, we remember all of those who've gone before us, both those that we recognize as being saintly persons, those who are hidden saintly persons, and also those of us who are the middling sort, not really very good, but not really very bad either. And we pray. For these, those of us in this station, that we will increase in faith and in love to the point where we see the beatific vision. When we see God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit face to face, Enjoy the beatific vision for the rest of eternity. So we will call all those on whose shoulders we stand. We ask God to fill them with his life, with his light, and to allow them to share eternity in his presence. profess our faith. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now pray for all of our deceased family, friends, loved ones, and for all those on whose shoulders we stand. 
and all those who are known only to their Lord. Carmen, Alfredo, John and Bernice, James, James and Palmyra, Henry and Dora, Laura, for all of my deceased family members, for Charlie and Carolyn, Doug, and for all Gary's, Minky's deceased family members, friends, loved ones, for Sue, Linda, Gary, Jim, Alexander, Stephanie, Clarence and Grace, John and Martha, Mrs. Little, Joe, Bud and Dorothy, John, Francisco, Daniel, John, Dean, Terrence, Justin, Philip, Bobby, Ginger, James, Joseph, Mary, Leroy, Alice, Steve, Mary, Grandma and Grandpa Kelly, Sean, John, for Stacy Wilhelm's parents, for her aunts Barbara and Diane, for Wanda, Felix, Richard and Mary, Warren and Jean, Hazel and Archie, Pearl and William, Julie, Larry, Marjorie, Charles, Frank, Fran, Paul, Michelle, for Andrew. For all those who are forgotten and they have no one to remember them. In the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merits of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that whatever good they may have done or evil they have endured, be for them the remission of their sins, the fullness of grace and the reward of your everlasting life. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the Creator, Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants the remission of all their sins, that through our prayers they may obtain that pardon they have always desired. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all our departed loved ones rest in peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have spread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of me, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. You wouldn't send the swine to walk the food of the vine and look at human hands. They come for us so spiritual gift. Blessed be God forever. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you in the humble and contrite hearts.
my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Lord, may the saving sacrifice of your Son, our King and Peacemaker, which we offer through these sacramental gifts of unity and peace, bring harmony and concord to all your children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. While our all-powerful and everything God, we praise and thank you through Jesus Christ our Lord for your presence and action in the world. In the midst of conflict and division, we know it is you who turn our hearts and minds to thoughts of peace. Your spirit changes our hearts, and the enemies again begin to speak to one another. And those who are estranged join hands in friendship. The nations seek the way of peace together. Your spirit is at work, and understanding puts an end to strife. When hatred is quenched by mercy, and vengeance gives way to forgiveness. For this we should never seek to thank and praise you, and join with all the choirs of heaven as they sing forever to your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. God of power and mercy, we praise you through your Son, Jesus Christ, who comes in your name. He is the word that brings salvation. He is the hand that you stretch out to sinners. He is the way that leads to your peace. God, our Father, we had wandered far from you. Through your Son, you have brought us back. You have brought, back, brought us back. You gave him up to death so that we might turn again to you and find your way to one another. Therefore, we celebrate the reconciliation Christ has gained for us. We ask you, to sanctify these gifts by the power of your Spirit as we now fulfill your Son's command. While he was at supper on the night before he died for us, he took bread in his hands and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. At the end of the meal, he took the cup. Again, he praised you for your goodness, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Lord our God, your Son has entrusted to us this pledge of his love. We celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, giving you the gift you have given us, the sacrifice of reconciliation. Therefore, we ask you, Father, to accept us together with your Son. Fill us with his spirit through our sharing in this meal. May he take away all that divides us. May this spirit always keep us in communion with Francis the Pope, Stephen our Bishop, with all the bishops and all your people. Father, make your church throughout the world a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace. You gather us here around the table of your Son in the fellowship in fellowship with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints, in that new, your, new world where the fullness of your peace will be revealed. Gather people of every race, language, and way of life to share in the one eternal banquet with Christ our Lord. Amen. 
and with him in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor and cheers, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety. As we wait in joyful hope, for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, you banish the peace and unity of your kingdom. For you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you, and may you always be instruments of his peace in a fallen world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Yes, we Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you very much. Since the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. I am the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for eternal life to us receive it. Peace I leave with you, my own peace I give to you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, you give us the body and blood of your Son and renew our strength. Fill us with the spirit of love, that we may work effectively in establishing among mankind Christ's farewell gift of peace. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God, which is beyond understanding, keep your minds and hearts in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The masses in it go in peace to love and serve the Lord and be instruments of peace in a fallen world. Thanks be to God. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, Sister of people who have fallen yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature you bore your Creator, yet remain a virgin after us before. You who received Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor sinners. Blessed be our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Trinity most holy, have mercy on us. Cleanse us of our sins. O Lord, pardon our transgressions. O Master, look upon our weaknesses and heal them, O Holy One, for the sake of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. With the just souls who have reached their end, give repose to the souls of your servants, O Savior, keeping them in the happiness of life in your presence, O you who love mankind. In your abode, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone love mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are the God who went down into hell and loosed the chains of those in bondage. Also to the souls of your servants, O Savior, give repose, now and forever and ever. Amen. Only chaste and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God without seed, intercede before him for the salvation of their souls. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray also for the repose of the souls of the servants of God, our brothers and sisters, all of our family, friends, loved ones, benefactors, and for those who have no one to remember them and who have fallen asleep. For the forgiveness of their offenses, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God may place their souls where all the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask Christ, our immortal King and our God, for the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the forgiveness of their sins. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled death. You made the devil powerless and you gave life to your world. Now, O oh Lord, to the souls of these your servants who have fallen asleep, grant rest in a place of light, a place of verdure, a place of tranquility from which pain, sorrow, and mourning have fled. And it's the good and loving God. Forgive every sin of thought, word, or deed they may have committed. There is no one who will live and will not sin, for you alone are sinless. Your justice is everlasting justice, and your word is truth. For you, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have fallen asleep. And we give glory to you, together with your eternal Father, and your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. 
more honorable than the cherubim and far more glorious than the seraphim ever a virgin, you gave birth to God the Word, O true Mother of God, we magnify you. Glory be to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, our true God, who has power over the living and the dead through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, with the holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, and of our venerable and godly fathers, and of all the saints, will place the souls of these his servants who have departed from us in the abode of the just, and will give them rest in the bosom of Abraham, and number them among the just, and will have mercy on us all, for he is good, and loves mankind. Amen. In blessed sleep, grant eternal rest, O Lord, to your ever-to-be-remembered servants, and may their memory be everlasting, everlasting memory, everlasting memory, everlasting memory.